now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Assassin. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out. My right? striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Now he's got the Muay Thai block. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Beautiful body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, Link defends on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Single collar tie now. Big punch land to the middle. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pounce after blocking shots. Ooh. Back and forth we go! Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Keep going, keep going. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice punch there, the clinch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, collar tie. Just misses with the straight right. Takedown defense holds up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Straight right hand, no good. Towers with an overhand left. He stuck that one. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Tried with the uppercut there. Just missed, or so it appeared. Missed with that attempt. Oh, single collar tie here. He blocks the punch. Oh, 
Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nice hook land. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Nice work. Nobody's hit that guy like he did before. You need to keep doing that. Stay on him. He's scared of you now. He's ready. You ready? Let's go for it. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Effective punch there by Choi. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Strong elbow there. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice right hand. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Boy, Thai plump. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Real balls. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. Oh! Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick land. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. Got the single collar tie. And they set it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he connects there. Big kick lands. certainly found the target. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch land. Oh, 
continuing to work the body to great effect. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, cash money with that left hand counter. Right punches there. All right, so we're collar time out. Ooh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Beautiful body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Good stick. Oh! Nice hook. Much improved. Sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands in the perfect spot. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Battling for hooks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lands with the right hand. Oh, a single collar tie there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Jeez Louise. Nice punch lands over the top. Single collar tie now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Chuck right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big kick land. Stay in this fight. He's trying to stay in this fight. Nice. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Nice punch there. Oh, he's out. There's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. He'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergley out has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career.